Welcome back to Yumu and the Liu. Today we're heading into the next two stages. Now, this series is coming to an end. I heard you, you heard me. The game only has 34 stages. I know that sounds short, it is. But this game is a fine definition of quality over quantity. Now, stage 31. Fearsome disappearing scaffolding. Seriously? The one that we've known and loved is called scaffolding? Weird, it should have been called platform, cause those ain't looking like a normal scaffolding to me. Anyways, if you remember there were blue scaffoldings where it drops after 5 seconds or so as you land on it. However, we are now introduced to its cousin, red scaffolding. As you step on him, you got 2 seconds to run or jump away before he drops. Different from blue where it still stays after you move quick enough, once you touch red, even the slightest, it will activate the dropping. Another difference is that red takes longer to refresh. So in conclusion, red is a crybaby. A general tip that I want to tell you is that as you land it on the scaffolding, keep jumping, do not run. Under any circumstances, do not run. Only when jumping that you can save more scaffolding. So remember to jump far and high. Don't go down, there's nothing underneath but lava and crappy scaffolding. From this room and on, you should wear a towel, but if you are like me, like to use a bunny suit or anything, be sure to react quickly. There are multiple things that want you to fall, especially into the lava. When that happens, stop the game and change your suit. This is where you'll find the golden key and it will also be your prime lesson of why should you jump instead of run. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this town We got this far, don't know how
room is quite complicated. It's filled with rotational platforms, red scaffolding and fireballs. If you knew me, I'm not a fan of fireballs, like at all. Of course, they jump in a set time, but you don't tend to focus on them. You focus on moving forward, and that is why it gets really annoying. As you forgot about the fireballs for a moment, you got shot by them. If that isn't bad enough, remember you still have to stay on the platform that moves slowly as fuck. Imagine when you are peacefully waiting for the platform to move, and suddenly a fireball came up to you and then makes you fall into the lava. You better watch out. And that's basically it for the stage, one of the hardest ones I would say. The best guy that I can give you is practice makes perfect. Just redo and redo, eventually you'll remember the obstacle. Heck, you can even memorize the whole stage. Also, stage 31 is a nice practice for you before going on to stage 33. Anyways, with that gone out of the way, welcome to stage 32, the Charlie Returns. Out of the last 5 levels, this seems unreasonably easy. Perhaps it is the milk kit? People were right. Halfway through, there is a break. The only problem is the jellyfish. If you remove the jellyfish, the stage and stage 9 are exactly the same. Not literally, but you get what I mean. Overall, there is not much to talk about. You can complete it without breaking a sweat. In the first room, you got some action movie coming up. Your transportation moves by itself while you run to another side. At the end, both meet each other. This is an absolute certified action movie moment.
That's it for the level, easy enough. And that is also it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it.